Uh, Durham Region of Faith, my name is Reverend Ian Martin here at St. Matthew's and I'm here with Judy Heron Graham from St. George's Memorial and we are both here in lovely Oshawa. Yes. As, as Mayor Carter says, the great city of Oshawa. The it's great, all one word, the great city of Oshawa. The great city of Oshawa. Uh, I don't know if cars make it great anymore. I think it's more the people. I think so. See, that's the, that's the suck up for all the Oshawaites, right? And it's even for the people over in Curtis, where most of my people are. Wow. So, um, one of the things that we're all dealing with is not just COVID fatigue, but social distancing and all that kind of stuff. We're all passed to the top of our heads. Um, and evidence of this was... Well, my husband had his uh, shot at the Shoppers Drug Mart in Whitby uh, a couple of days ago. And I couldn't get over the number of people who were there in the parking lot. It was a Sunday afternoon and people were going in and out of the shoppers drug mart continually the parking lot was full the supermarket was busy everything was just furiously busy and i'm sitting there alone in the car waiting for my husband so i guess my plea is when you're out because yes we do need to go to the drugstore and we do need to get groceries but if we all treat one another like we are non-symptomatic carriers of COVID and stay that, make sure we stay at least six feet away from folks, then we're going to beat this sooner. So please, that's our plea today, tomorrow, and the day after. It's just stay safe, adhere to the government uh, guidelines that are there. They do work, and the faster and the more we all hold to that, the better off we'll be back to whatever normal it is that we're going to go back to, hopefully, a better normal. But as tough as things are, there are places in the world where it's even tougher. Little St. Vincent in the West Indies, way down the south near the Grenadines, has a volcano that has not erupted for 42 years, the La Soufrière volcano, and it is spewing soot and ash all over the island. People have been evacuated. It's like four inches of black snow everywhere. The rivers are running black. It's uh, sooty. As a result, water's been turned off. Electricity's been turned off. People are trying to take shelter in the south of the island. So what St. George's is doing, we have a parishioner who's heading this up, and we invite St. Matthew's to join us is we're getting a container to send things to St. Vincent. Uh, summer clothes. So if you're trying on your summer shorts and for some reason they don't fit this year. Or maybe they're too loose because you've been doing the COVID diet. Sure. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. um, but if you can help, on Thursdays at St. George's from 10 until 4, this week and next, we invite you to drop off gently used clothes. Things from the drugstore, soap, shampoo, that kind of thing, uh, and gently used towels. We have a contact in St. Vincent who works in a shelter who will make sure that things go to the people who need them most. 
So let's, I mean, I appreciate the opportunity to focus on somebody else, but we can all come together safely. And I know that the hearts of people in Oshawa are so generous that we'll be able to get this container filled. So let's fill it too. You got, you got two churches and all of the internet. Let's fill that container for some good folks on behalf of the church. Let's prepare to worship. All right. This begins on page 98 of the Green Book Alternative Services. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us new life and hope by raising Jesus from the dead. Rejoice then, even in your distress. We shall be counted worthy when Christ appears. God has claimed us for his own. He has called us from our darkness into the light of his day. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O oh, come, come, let, let us worship. worship. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia, Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. O God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant to make us perfect in every good work, to do your will and work in us which is pleasing in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the That's sheep. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one, isn't it? The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that you have spoken, that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers, like branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of Christ. Thanks, Thanks to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Abiding and vines. You know, that's a word, abide, that I don't think I've used once in the course of my regular everyday language. And yet, in this passage, it must have been used, what, 15 times? It, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of clearly clear important, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put on my dunce cap. It's, it's right there in case you can't see it. It's like the emperor's clothes, made from the same material. What is, if you could define abide, how would you okay. abide? I would think about living in a, not just a house, but living in a neighborhood. Living in a neighborhood with intention for a period of time. Like abiding is not an Airbnb. Abiding is living and having relationships. And for me, that's key about abiding, because it's about relationships. It's not about your address, you know, 203 Melrose Avenue. It's not right. about that. It's not about bricks and mortar. 
it's about being part of a network of people and so, staying in that network. A network. It's, it's, so it's mm -hmm. bigger than just one person, although it can be restricted mm -hmm. to that. It could be, but yeah. you and your relationship with God, I mean, I mean that's kind of what God, mm -hmm. Jesus is talking about but here, But if right? you think about your relationship in the neighborhood, even if you don't know anybody, you eventually get to know the guy at the drugstore right. and the checker at the supermarket and... Or, you if know, you're the dry the cleaner or, you know, the guy at the beer store, at least. If, if you're in an apartment building, you're going to run into people in the, uh, in the elevator, mm -hmm. too, right? So you're abiding in a, in a locale, mm -hmm. and you're also abiding in the relationships in that location, too, right? And is that, that's kind of what Jesus is talking about, but it's a weird space. That last sentence, we often overlook a very key so can you read that last sentence? Very last sentence. My yeah. Father has glorified this, that you bear much fruit and, and become my disciples. Become my disciples. It's not, okay. it's not that Jesus is saying, if you don't abide in me, you're out. Although often we might hear that. Because that means that it puts a lot of power on ourselves. To say, if, if I have a bad day, I'm going to be burned up and I'm useless. Well, that... that that's no, not that's the way a relationship works. Certainly not a relationship with God, right? Maybe with others, but not with God and people who are, what, how would you say that? Abide, also abiding. abiding yeah. I mean, if you think about a healthy marriage relationship, there's times when it's 50-50, but there's other times when it's 99 and 1. You know? <laughs> um, and in a healthy marriage, that kind of balances out over, over time. And, but... Um, in, in our relationship with God, I think. Sometimes, you know, God, I have no feeling today. God, you've got, you got to carry me. Yep. And I think that's part of abiding and saying, God, I got nothing today. Or, you know, God, a I feel like a truck hit me because I'm getting over my second vaccine. Um, oh, no, you know, other... take care of me today, God. Right. I, you've got to hold me, like in Isaiah, carve me in the palm of your hands. And there are other moments where you wake up and it's like, listen, I'm going here. This is going to happen. A lot of stuff's going to and all in the course of that day, you feel like you're in control and you're running. And God honors that part too, saying, mm -hmm. go for it. I'll be here when you come back. And that's also in a, that's mm -hmm. still in a relationship that's built off of trust and love and mutual strengths. Mm -hmm. Where with at least a healthy relationship, you hope that there's a, a listening and a hearing. So I don't have to feel love for God's love to be active. Uh, so it's not, I mean, emotions are fickle and fleeting. Um, you think about when you were a teenager and you'd have a crush on somebody and you'd say to them, I like you, and the crush would just vaporize, right? Um, fle emotions, we can't rely on them, but we can rely on God who proves God's faithfulness. Every day the sun rises on schedule. Every night the stars across the heavens trace their paths in an ordered way. So God continues to hold us and be faithful even on those days when we can't feel it. And we play a part in that. It's not all on our shoulders. And God will always be there, whether we have energy, and delight or not. Amen.
fun is always Ian. Yes. We're going to continue though with worship on page 52, uh, reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The response to our intercessions this morning is give us true freedom. That is, give us, give us true, true freedom. freedom. Let us pray for the church. God greater than our hearts. May the church be at peace. Give steady progress. And the increased consolation of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Give us true freedom. Let us pray for the mission of the United Nations. May all the ends of the earth remember and turn to the Lord. May all the families of the nations bow before you and love in deed and truth. We pray to the Lord. Give us true freedom. Let us pray for the unborn. May the coming generation be told of your justice. Let the lowly eat their fill and be merry. May we proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice of your reign. We pray to the Lord. Give us true freedom. Let us pray for those who are preparing for baptism. May the Lord remain in us by the gift of the Spirit. Let us live in Christ and become disciples. We pray to the Lord. Give, give us, us true, true freedom. freedom. Let us pray for the vine growers. Make faithful those who prune away and trim. Be glorified in vines which bear much fruit. May they ask and it done for them. We pray to the Lord. Give us true, true freedom. freedom. Let us remember those who have died. May the beloved live on in you. Let all who sleep in the earth and all who go down into the dust seek your praise. We pray to the Lord. Give us true freedom. God of deep soil and luxurious growth, you call us from our shallow selves to fill our depth in you. May we abide in him alone who can teach us who we are, Jesus Christ, the true vine. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our sins as we, as we forgive those who sin, sin against us. us. Save, Save us from the time, time of trial, and, and deliver us from evil. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us that which pleases him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Turn!